It's a brainstorming experiment. Chu Jujie, Dean of the School of Experimental Arts of the Central Academy of Fine Arts, is trying to let artificial intelligence capture his emotions while creating calligraphy. Artistic creation is the ultimate spiritual activity of human beings. Allowing emotionless artificial intelligence to imitate emotions is tantamount to human beings using technology for self-exploration. Artificial intelligence experts will collect Chu Jujie's emotional data to develop an artificial intelligence mind map. Artificial intelligence is new, but it's all around us. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is an interdisciplinary subject of computer science that comprehends the essence of intelligence and produces a new type of intelligent machine that can react in a similar way to human intelligence. The application of AI is for human beings to provide themselves with greater power and imagination. As an extremely complex science and technology system, the emotional imitation of AI may still perhaps be in a world of its own. But the burgeoning applications of today's AI are already clearly present in our lives. Chinese people are enjoying a better life brought about by the empowerment of AI. Big data, algorithm and computing power are the buzzwords of AI innovation nowadays. With the upgrading of Chinese technology, comprehensive perception, deep learning and continuous progress, an era empowered by AI has begun. This, presumably, is Chen Xueying's view of the world. She is visually impaired. The year 2020 will mark the 12th year since Chen Xueying, a girl from Shanghai, lost her vision. Unlike those with congenital blindness, she is someone who has perceived light and deeply loves the colorful world she once saw as much as ever. I want to see how the world is how the sky is on New Year's Day 2020, Su Ying left her home in Shanghai and embarked on a journey to Japan, the first time she had ever traveled alone. On this trip, Su Ying no longer relies on the eyes of family members, and a cane is not the only thing she has to depend on, as she has an amazing new companion that made traveling less daunting. Via its intelligent sensitivity, the touchscreen technology for the visually impaired senses the touch of her finger and simultaneously communicates vocally with Chen Siying, guiding her to correctly access the various apps on her phone. By using these apps, Siying has designed a wealth of travel tasks. She looks forward to proving that she can embrace the world to her heart's content.
range of mobile apps developed in China, helping her embrace the world. Everyone's dream is to leave home and explore the world. Right now, what blooms in Sir Ying's heart is perhaps the sunshine and promise of a newly accessible world. By the first quarter of 2020, China sold 100 million 5G mobile phones, 3.59 million apps with 1.1 trillion downloads. China is striving to achieve full coverage of 5G. The coming of the 5G era will help intelligent devices complete more and more complex interactions and will provide a basic guarantee for the rapid development of artificial intelligence. Technological change, knowledge and innovation within the Chinese community will bring hope to more than 60 million disabled people. So the new era will allow them to be like the rest of China's billion-plus population, treading the path of their life with comfort and enjoyment. For the past two years, Gu Ye has been searching for his lost self. He just graduated from college, but due to an accident, his left arm was partially amputated, and the new journey of his life, which had been so promising, came to a halt. <laughs> The joy has vanished from the face of this young man who once was so optimistic. He now stands at the crossroads of his life, confused and lost. Disabled people receive more attention than any other group in the world. For the 24 million plus disabled people in China, disability is not only a physical pain, but also a constant psychological imbalance and lingering darkness. But they yearn to find themselves whole and return to their former lives. Scientists have been on a never-ending quest to help people like Gu Yi find the way to reactivate their life potential. The human brain is extremely complex and controls the most sophisticated system of the human body. And new technological upgrades have led to the creation of human-machine interfaces. The dream of disabled people using their brain to operate mechanical limbs is moving from fantasy to reality. Huang Qi is now a father. With the birth of his son, he has experienced a new joy in life. The energetic growth of his child has given him a new understanding of life. There is a global race of cutting-edge technology to create a brain-machine interface, and Huang Qi's life ambition is to be the first to reach the finishing line. After three years of hard work, Huang Qi used instructions generated by brain electrodes to successfully control the robotic arm. However, communicating with the signal control system was just the first step in inventing this intelligent arm. If you attach external electrodes to the surface of the skin of a limb, when the brain issues an impulse, the muscles under the skin will generate an electrical activity signal. Muscle activity signals collected by the electrodes are instantly recognized as a specific movement intention of the body. They then get mapped to the robot to perform the action. 
This extremely complex set of synchronized operations between human signals and intelligent algorithms for Huang Qi is equivalent to creating a human-machine combination set of neural control systems. With more than 200 high-tech components making up the arm, as well as the formidable computer power of AI in its neural control system, the bionic arm can move flexibly and grip precisely. This bionic arm, as if from sci-fi, is the work of Huang Qi's team. What they urgently need at this moment is a suitable test volunteer. On a trip of more than 2,000 kilometers, Gu Yue was apprehensive, not knowing whether hope or disappointment awaited him. Zhuanyi the intelligent arm itself contains many mysteries within it. In addition to the bionic curvature of the human wrist, it also integrates four categories – position, strength, posture and acceleration – all within a small cavity, with a total of 16 sensors that simulate the perception of the human hand, making the arm not only flexible to operate, but also precise in controlling grip strength. This is the first time in two years that Gu Ye has smiled from the bottom of his heart. He tried it again and again and was so happy he didn't want to stop. Huang Qi used an intelligent mechanical hand to help Gu Ye restart his life. This is his starting point, but it is still far from the end. <laughs> Gu Ye was filled with confidence, and the feeling of exuberance within made him want to share it with other amputees. So he decided to become a product tester for the company. The journey from despair to hope is only an arm's length. 就是给更多的人去看，让更多人去知道和了解，希望能够帮到像我这样经历的人解决掉这些问题，让他也能像我一样这样走出来吧。所以说他现在好像完全走出来了，我特别特别敬佩他们，给亚队儿子们的帮助
Farmers are very anxious due to a relentless competitor for their corn, the fall armyworm moth. Nicknamed the marching moths, they are a vast army of insects with a huge appetite that has rapidly advanced, having just flown up from southern China into Shanxi province. Before arriving in Huayin County, the fall army worm moths had already infested nearly 83,000 acres of cornfields, and the battle for food between humans and pests was already heating up. Manual spraying can't keep up with the moth infestation, spanning 100 kilometers daily. If the spread is not controlled, the corn yield this year will be reduced, or there will be no harvest at all. At the same time, the research and development team at XAG's headquarters in Guangzhou was fine-tuning a new weapon, the P-20 Intelligent Plant Protection Drone, nicknamed the Kestrel. A battle is about to begin against the fall armyworm moth. The Kestrel drone, flying fast at a speed of 80 km per hour, can flexibly deploy combat formations via the Beidou Satellite Positioning and Intelligent Control Systems. In order to prevent the moths from spreading and escaping, the drone team decided to split up into two groups, centering on the most severely affected areas and forming a tight flanking formation. It was an inevitable victory for the drones. After seven days and seven nights, the drones sprayed and killed the moths at dozens of times the rate of manual spraying, completely controlling the expansion of the fall army worm moth and preserving 18,500 acres of corn. Now the endless fields are back to their former beauty and peacefulness. Now the fish is like home. This is made these smart plant protection drones are the work of a group of young people who call themselves wind chasers. Satellite positioning, artificial intelligence and 5G communication have come to agriculture's rescue. Hung Bin and his team hope that artificial intelligence can truly help the hard-working farmers. These cool-looking plant protection drones are smart and versatile with the help of AI. In September in Xinjiang, the sun is blazing and 200,000 acres of cotton in Yili County is in the harvest season. The ripe bowls are hidden in dense leaves, causing difficulty even for the most advanced picking machines in the world. Spraying defoliants is very labor-intensive, painstaking and inefficient. The time has come for the kestrels to show their might, but first they must obtain an important piece of information. X-Mission is the latest plant protection surveillance drone developed by Peng Bin's team and is equipped with a sophisticated AI analysis system, making it a close partner of the Kestrel. In just a few minutes, a tactical map for spraying defoliants on a 35-acre cotton field was drawn up after being photographed and scanned by X-Mission and then calculated using AI. Receiving the map, a group of three kestrels formed a formation and began a meticulous carpet spraying of the area. At this time, the Beidou satellite positioning system was guiding the kestrels' position, ensuring that the margin of error was no more than one metre.
This is the third year the XAG team has come to Xinjiang. The plant protection drone has become a handy assistant for cotton farmers to look forward to every year. As of August 2020, in China, smart plant protection drones have served more than 8.72 million farmers and 100 million acres of farmland. The dream of flying is just the starting point of a new era. And in the near future, there will be millions of smart systems and pieces of equipment in China's farmland to assist manual planting and harvesting, to alleviate the hard work of farmers who've been working for thousands of years. In this era of artificial intelligence, it will also maintain China's agricultural production and food security for 1.4 billion people. Hulun Bia, at a latitude of 47 degrees north, is China's golden pasture. As an important supplement for human beings to acquire energy, milk as a protein source has existed for more than 6,000 years. Chichi Gama wakes up early in the morning to make milk tea from fresh milk and curd cheese from milk that's been fermented for two days to prepare for her grandchildren's holiday. The weather in the grasslands is unpredictable and the pasture areas are scattered and remote. Every week, Ye Wenhui travels between the laboratory and different farms, eager to obtain data about newborn babies. The first 1,000 days of life is defined by the World Health Organization as the window of opportunity for human growth and development. Breast milk is the source of almost all a child's nutrition during the first six months of life. Cow and goat milk are the basis for formula and protein. The standards for infant formula are as strict as any medicine. In China's smart cattle farms, AI has taken over the first line of defense in guarding safety and quality. Accurate, efficient, and meticulous, AI will provide a comprehensive and continuous guarantee for Ye Wenhui's research. A smart ear tag is something the cattle wears and is a lifelong companion. The ear tag is partnered with the smart identification portal. Every time the cows pass by, the body temperature, step count, daily routine, and other data are all accurately transmitted to the database. The identification capability of this AI system allows a dozen feeders to readily get a detailed grasp of the condition of 6,800 cows. The health of cows is directly related to the safety and yield of milk, and the precisely proportioned alfalfa feed is the cow's food. Cows prefer cold to heat, so the smart sprinkler system takes care of that and delivers a cool, comfortable shower every afternoon, right on time. Escaping the heat, the cows take a pleasant walk around the exercise yard and occasionally exchange affection for each other. The real-time online smart ear tags communicate with the smart identification portal again. And through the IoT, the cow's milk production of the day is uploaded in real time. And every drop of milk is monitored and managed by the digital system. The milk produced by smart animal husbandry is the most important raw material in creating infant formula, which can safely and accurately complement human milk. Contamination and nemesis of dairy safety is seamlessly and strictly monitored from transportation to sterilization, from processing to packaging. 
我们要求牛奶从牧场的牛蹄挤出到工厂必须小于二十四小时。先进的加工设备，有一些中控系统，包括我们的全自动的生产线。还有我们的机械手和马多机器人等这些设备的利用以后呢，大大的加快了我们牛奶的处理效率。After nearly 1,000 tests, the milk has been quietly hidden away in this intelligent factory. Tightly interconnected pipes and sensitive intelligent inspection systems closely monitor the flow of cow's milk. With China's milk consumption reaching 13 million tons in 2019. AI is guarding its safety and quality. From the formula prepared by Ye Wenhui for children, to milk and yogurt, all of which are being shipped across China and the rest of the world to meet people's needs for a better life. All intelligence in the era of AI comes from big data, better algorithms and greater computing power. The intelligent computing power of the central processing unit is the real hero behind the scenes, ever present. Invisible, yet everywhere. From a kingdom of bicycles to the world's largest public transportation nation in just over four decades, China's subway mileage will reach 6,000 kilometers by 2020, with 1.7 billion trips by subway in August 2020 alone. The subway is expanding rapidly in China, and the annual passenger traffic of nearly 20 billion rides puts unprecedented pressure on travel efficiency. After retirement, 58-year-old Xu Jungfang enjoys a pleasant and leisurely life. The number eight bus has carried Xu Jungfang's memories for more than 30 years. Before she retired, she was a star bus conductor in Tianjin, and being busy was the watchword of her work. 八二年呢，我参加工作，那年呢，我才十九岁，来到公交呢，呃，八路车队。原先我们乘务员确实手忙脚乱，上了多少乘客，我们还得按站，还得记着乘客从哪站上，从哪站下，还得撕票，还得找钱，很麻烦，很麻烦的。Nowadays, the subway in China is synonymous with speed, and with it comes a very dense passenger load. Xiaohuafang Station is an important hub of the Tianjin Metro, with an average daily passenger flow of more than 200,000 people. Station attendants are overwhelmed with manual work. In 2019, a smart turnstile gate officially commenced duty in Xiaohuafang Station, its efficiency drawing from the core component of the internal Phytium Central Processing Unit, an authentic Chinese chip. The CPU is the main component of all the information processing units. Is it able to provide enough power? Is it able to provide enough safety? The CPU has raised a high demand. Do Qiang, a Chinese chip scientist, has been leading a team since 2005 to build a miniature brain with computational power on a silicon wafer the size of a fingernail, with tens of billions of crystals lined up. The upcoming new generation of processors will also push China's chip technology to new speeds. Identifying, authenticating, debiting, opening and closing the gates, all these actions are performed in less than five seconds in a single operation, and the processor executes dozens of program commands with instant precision. In just one square centimeter, weighing just 10 grams, the Phytium processor integrates 5 billion transistors, allowing it to process 48.2 billion instructions per second, equivalent to 482 times the speed of China's first-generation supercomputer, which weighed two tons. The development and application of the Phytium processor represents a new height in the key field of intelligent manufacturing in China. With more computing power, it can save one minute per passenger. According to the total number of passengers in the Tianjin subway in 2019, it will save 530 million minutes, which is equivalent to nearly a thousand years, and time-based efficiency for overall transportation in China will be astronomical.
Much faster and more powerful processes will take root in our daily lives, working under high stress. Perhaps we will never actually see the chip, the hero behind the scenes, but they are closely linked to our lives. Cars are the largest pieces of equipment that most people use daily. And this essential companion, with its power and speed, carries our dreams and motivates us. Safety and efficiency in car travel is a problem in today's world and a challenge for China as well. Beijing is a megacity of 21 million people, more than New York and London combined. With more than 6.3 million vehicles and huge crowds of travellers, the pressure of rush hour traffic is increasing daily. To make travel safer and more efficient, Chinese scientists are making audacious attempts to drive through change. Three months ago, Gu Sujia moved from Shenzhen to Beijing to start a new career. Like other young white-collar workers in China, Gu Sujia is free to choose the work she loves, but she can't avoid the stresses of traveling every day. 平时因为工作性质的关系，涉及到不少要外出开会，然后见这个合作伙伴、客户。如果说是在路上有一次耽误的话，就是比较严重的问题。Gu Sijia, one of the first users of autopilot cars in China, began her journey to a life transformed by artificial intelligence. 那你在我们十五分钟能到吗？因为我还看会蛮着急的。This is a pony autopilot car, and driving the vehicle is just a small test. Today's road conditions are rather congested, and Pony's smart driving system, through the analysis of real-time road conditions and data, decisively switches routes, bypassing the road where the accident is. Behind the intelligent autopilot car, there is a young R&D team that is monitoring and analyzing the pony car's driving data in the background through IoT wireless technology. We have a radar, a radar, and a radar. We have a Perception, memory and computation are the keys for AI to imitate human driving. And China's massive transportation system and vast amounts of data are rich teaching materials for deep learning by AI. When human drivers face sudden danger, visual signals into the brain require an average of 0.5 to 2 seconds to decide and react. If the car is going 100 km per hour, 2 seconds means 54 meters, and the consequences are unimaginable. These are insurmountable human physiological shortcomings. At the beginning, cars were just machines controlled by humans. But with the empowerment of AI systems, they have become skilled, safe, and efficient all-rounders. At the start of summer, Beijing heads into its thunderstorm season, which is the most exciting and busy time for test engineer Zhang Ligang. 
The rain and vapour creates the best and most natural test conditions. The perception system of an autonomous vehicle is similar to the human eye. Rain, fog and spray all create problems. So the AI system can be prone to misjudgment or delayed decision making. Safety is a common problem of normal driving and autonomous driving. To ensure the safety of drivers and pedestrians on the road, AI is constantly learning and making its final preparations for the official launch for Chinese travelers on the road. Uh, Here in Beijing's Haidian district, China's first autonomous driving test area, this little guy, White Rhino, is working alone on a delivery job. Unlike the pony car, which is accompanied by a driver, the White Rhino is a fully autonomous Lone Ranger. AI can progressively enhance the performance of the car on the road. China's IoT system allows the White Rhino to complete its last 5K of deliveries through varying road conditions with ease. The night in Beijing is quiet and beautiful, and Gu Sijia enjoys some coziness after a busy day. At the same time, the tireless artificial intelligence system is continuously deep learning to help with the rapid evolution of driverless cars. From October the 10th, 2020, driverless cabs have started operating on a test road in Beijing. In the future, AI will be in more cities, serving Chinese people's transportation needs, being more intelligent and safer. A more efficient era of travel in China has begun. This is the third time that Ma Xiao, an adventure enthusiast, has led a team to this mountainous region of Daba. This time he will escort satellite communications expert Wang Peng. High intensity work and unknown difficulties made this operation a true stargazing trip. At 11.02 on January the 16th, 2020, China's first low-orbit broadband communication satellite with a communication capacity of 16 gigabytes was successfully sent into space and entered a predetermined orbit, taking a key step towards China's space internet. With unprecedented high speed and low latency, 5G communication is the foundation for instantaneous AI data transmission, cloud computing, bringing our planet closer and closer together. China, with a population of 1.4 billion, is already a superpower of interconnection, with as many as 7.32 million mobile signal base stations. However, China is a vast country with a complex geography and many distant places where communication signals are weak or even non-existent. Galaxy Space's first satellite launch into orbit is China's first step towards the internet in space, and testing the signal quality in the coverage area has become the first great test of its power. Test results will influence the future layout of even more satellite groups. For Wang Peng, Ma Shao selected an extremely remote village on the satellite's orbit. Taolong Township, Beishuan County, Sichuan Province, 3,200 meters above sea level, 
with high forested terrain and changing weather conditions that make it a perfect test site. Due to the rotation of the Earth, the first launched satellite only has two chances to fly over Beichuan each day. There is a fleeting test window of about five minutes each time. Towards evening, the test team finally arrives. The hosts, Mrs. Yu and her family, are old friends of Ma Shao. After repeated surveys to confirm that the latitude, longitude and topography of Mrs. Yu's house match the degree of difficulty required for the test, Wang Peng begins final preparations. Xiao Yu is curious about the satellite the team has been talking about. Wang Peng and the team also hope to take this opportunity to let Xiao Yu see the outside world through the internet. Old friends, new friends, gather together in a place like paradise. The sentiments of a simple village and the very coolest of technologies come together for this special moment. It's late at night and Wang Peng still can't sleep. Satellite communication relies on a high-precision technical system, which requires more than a dozen key modules to interlock and work together if any link fails, connectivity will not be achieved. Cuando the next morning, the rain, which Wang Peng was most worried about, started to fall. Wang Peng's heart felt a little uneasy. He didn't want to miss the test window, and he didn't want to disappoint Xiao Yu's expectations. As the window for the test approached, everyone was engaged in an intense but methodical task. Everyone was keen to find out whether the test would be successful and if it would confirm the quality of Galaxy Space's first launched satellite's communication. Everything is in place, and Wang Peng initiates a video call request. Hey, Lu Hua, you Hey, hey, Lu, hey, Lu Hua. Lu Hua, Xiao Xiao, I'm Xiao Yu. Hello, friend. Uh, when you're after testing, the signal strength and connection speed of the first satellite have matched expected requirements. This short five-minute broadband signal is like a beam of light connecting the world, so that this mountainous area, which was once out of range of communication signals, becomes brightly illuminated. For the Taiwan 5G, its greatest value is providing a 
对，我们知道哈，就是接下来的这个时代呢，我们称为叫物联网、万物互联，对吧 ？IOT 的整个的时代，我说网络它像。像什么？它看上去是小小的电磁波，但是呢，它对于整个地球来讲，它代表的是地球的这样的一个数字时代，代表的是地球的这样的一个数字生命。The satellite, thousands of miles away, will bring new changes to the lives of people living in the mountains. Like a pathfinder, Galaxy Space's first satellite is a prelude to China's space internet. In the future, there will be more than 2,000 sister satellites. And together they will form a magical constellation, and every corner of China will be covered with high-speed internet signals. The two-day get-together is coming to an end, and Wang Peng and his team will be off to their next test site. This is our Weibo model. Do you like it? Like it. Like it. Come, take it. Later, you'll be a scientist. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. 5G communication and artificial intelligence will help people link together with the whole world via space. This magical seed has taken root in the heart of Xiao Yu, who will be like every child in this fast-developing society, growing and studying together, with technology giving them energy. They will have a better life, a more open future. All interconnected. Empowered by artificial intelligence, this will be a better and more self-confident era. Can't come.